Hey guys, it's Josh, the 90 Know It All, coming to you to talk about one of my favorite topics of all time, that's baseball card collecting. I've been doing it since I was a kid, love it, still kind of do it today, but I kind of do it a little bit different than I did as a kid, but I want to talk about that. Before we do, guys, take a moment, click subscribe. We got a lot of fun interviews, a lot of stuff that's coming out every day. So just by subscribing, you guys know when the stuff comes out, you can stay you know, connected to what's going on, just be a part of the baseball discussion that we have here at Nine Any Know It All. So, guys, let's jump into this. I love baseball cards. Um, I'll be honest. I, I did a count a number of years back about kind of an estimate of how many cards I thought I had, and at the time, I think I was about fifty thousand cards. So, you know, not the biggest collection that I know of, but still pretty pretty big. Um, then, I I went to a Goodwill not long after that. And they had these big boxes, 3,200 boxes, 5,000 count boxes, full of baseball cards from what I call my era of baseball card collecting, uh, late 80s, early 90s. And I bought them because they were like a buck 99, 299 for each of the big boxes. And they were like organized, they were perfectly organized. So I'm thinking they were at one point a part of a baseball card shop's collection. And because they're not really of value, uh, no one's buying those types of cards. Late eighties, early nineties, they just donated them, um, but they were they were in numbered order. They were perfect condition, so I bought them, and you know I still have them. I think they're in a tote in my garage. In fact, right now, um, the shelves behind me, the bottom four shelves, are just packed with with cards. If you guys see up here, I've got uh, some unopened boxes of cards. Uh, I'll talk about that in just a little bit. Out in my garage, I've got totes full of cards. And in my parents' house, I've got boxes of cards as well. So I just don't have room for them all here at the house. I'm hoping to you know, fix that. We're gonna work on doing a, a new shed or garage type thing out back, which hopefully can handle more of my stuff, um, hopefully. So I've got a lot of cards, I love it. But for me, you know, I don't collect a lot of newer stuff. I do collect uh, Topps Heritage Minor League sets. Um, I started buying those in 2011, really kind of fell in love with that. I do a lot of stuff with minor league baseball. Um, obviously, that's my one of my favorite areas. College is my favorite level to cover. But, you know, doing spring training and doing the Arizona Fall League especially, I get to see minor leaguers almost more than I get to see major leaguers. Well, actually, I do, considering I haven't been to a major league game in a couple years. Um, but I've been to a number of minor league games, been to Arizona Fall League once again where – top minor leaguers are down there. So I tend to collect minor league cards a lot more. So in terms of what I collect nowadays, the Topps Heritage minor league sets are what I buy. I love seeing them. I love the old school designs. Um, it's just what I enjoy the most. Every once in a while I do buy some newer packs of major league cards. In fact, if you guys seen for my birthday, my family got me one. I got myself another one. I haven't opened them yet. I'm going to, I'm actually going to do a video uh, on these at some point. In fact, when this video comes out, these may already be opened. I just haven't decided yet when I'm going to do that. Been kind of pushing it off. Haven't done it. I'll do it at some point. Um, but, you know, it's just, I love the late 80s. That's when I started. My first ever complete set of baseball cards was 1987 Tops. My parents got it for me for my birth, or for Christmas, and I loved it. Fell in love with that set instantly. I actually focus a lot of my time when it comes to getting autographs of older players, of former players, with that set. So if I see that there's a a coach who had major league experience and they played in 87 and have a Topps 87 card, I will actually put that card on top of all the other cards I have of them so they get that one signed first. Because if they only sign one card, I want it to be the Topps 1987 card because I love that set. I've fallen in love with that set. I have two complete sets, I think. Now, I've pulled a lot of the cards out of the complete sets to get autographed and put in binders and stuff. So the sets aren't complete together, but I'm pretty sure I have, I know I have one set completely full, complete, and I'm pretty sure I have another one and probably a good portion of a third, um, just because that's that's a set I love. Once again, it's just, you know, I enjoy it. It looks cool, I like the, the kind of the wood border look. It's really fun. So I love that era. You know, I when I think about my memories of baseball card collecting, you know, I have like that one where it's my first ever complete set that I have. Um, the 92 score 
I was actually playing majors baseball, so that's literally 12 and under. Um, and my dad was a coach. And to reward the team, anyone who got a hit or made a big play got a pack of cards from the 1992 score set. Uh, he went to Costco uh, one day when we, before the season started, and they were selling the booster boxes for, for really cheap. I mean, pretty cheap. So he actually bought like three or four of those, something like that, and was handing out cards to, to me and my teammates when we when we did good. So it was it was fun to do that. I got a lot of cards there. Ended up buying the complete set myself uh, still when I was a kid because I love that set as well. I love the big head cartoon all-star ones. Those are still one of my favorites of all time. But I love that era. I love that era. I know the cards are worthless. In fact, probably 90% of my cards that I have in my collection aren't even worth a penny each. I mean, they're just, they're in that, that junk wax era where so many cards were made that their value became, you know, not pretty much zero. But I still love the cards. In fact, you see, I've got Don Russ, Don Russ, Don Russ, Don Russ, Tops, Upper Deck, Don Russ, you know, unopened boxes, uh, booster boxes or hobby boxes, whatever they called them at the time, um, that I haven't opened. I've been buying them lately. Uh, I've actually had three of them. I bought four last year. Opened one, but I didn't open this one, this one, I think this one. So these three I, I didn't open because I was going to do videos and I just never got around to doing it. Um, and now that I've had them for so long, I'm kind of hesitant to open them. I'll talk about that in a second. And then for my birthday, I actually went and bought this one uh, for myself. And then the other day I was down in Portland again, I went to the card shop that I get these from and realized, hey, I might as well get these two or these three. And I'm, I've decided that I'm gonna keep them unopened. I'm gonna keep them closed. Um, Cause once again, the cards inside aren't really worth that much, if anything, but I wanna keep them in hopes that maybe in my future, you know, maybe I'll have a grandson that I can open them with you know, and talk about the, you know, the players that I grew up watching. Now, if not, then it's going to be very cool still to have seven boxes, and I'll, that will probably increase in number. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if every time I take a trip to Portland, I just suddenly stop by the card shop, uh, buy another box. So this is probably going to grow, probably going to expand, and I'm just going to keep them closed. I think they look cool. I love them closed. I love them being in the packs. I still love the... Uh, the whole idea of I don't know what's in there and I'm okay with that. I'm going to have fun just, just sitting there looking at the box and enjoying that because I've probably got most all the cards anyways. Might as well enjoy something like this. So I'm going to keep them closed. Maybe at some point in the future I'll break down and open one. Um, I don't know though. I, I might just keep them closed and just uh, enjoy them as a decoration and maybe in 30 years when I'm close to 70 that I'll... Uh, then I'll open one and look back on my life and, and remember the players that I got to watch growing up. So I, I just love that era. And once again, it's, it's crazy. I know a lot of people are thinking, wow, they're worthless cards. They don't mean that much. To me, they mean a ton. And, you know, it's the era in which my parents bought me cards. It's the era in which, you know, if I found a quarter, I could go buy a pack of cards. In fact, I think it's this one on top. It says 30 cents a pack. 30 cents a pack. You can't even buy a single card for that anymore, really. And so it reminds me of a time that I fell in love with baseball card collecting, a time where I began to fall in love with a game of baseball. And I love that era. I love that era. I will always love that era. And, you know, that's why I'm collecting cards from that time. You know, I'm going to hold on to them. You know, I know a lot of people get rid of them because they're worthless. They don't care. But they mean something to me. And, you know, I know there's a lot of you out there who collect cards and you understand that. You know, cards mean something to you regardless of the value. There's some kind of emotional story that is connected with those cards. And, and that's good. That's good. It's awesome. I like that. So, so guys, you know, that's just a breakdown. Once again, I love the older era. The new cards do look cool. I do like some, some of the new stuff that's coming out. I'm not as big a fan, though, um, of those things just because it's, it's different for me. It's more expensive. It's more about trying to make a buck collecting um, than it is about the love of collecting so there's my thoughts guys you know what I hope you guys collect cards if you collect sets and you have a favorite set that you collect or maybe you get autographed like I do my 87 top set let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear some of the other sets that people are, are going after 
uh, just because I've got some friends who have completed sets uh, that for some reason or another, that was their year, something important to them, and they went out and bought cards at the best condition they could. I think I knew someone who's done like 65 tops and things like that. Just so I want to know, what sets do you love? What sets do you collect? So guys, I'm Josh, the 90 Know It All. Thanks for listening to me talk about baseball cards because I honestly could do it all day and just never stop talking. So guys, catch you later.